baseball since the break. Getting ready to go. Astros wearing their orange jerseys, and Jake Odorizzi delivers a fastball high to Isaiah Kiner Palefa. Tigers yesterday in a 7 to 5 loss. As Kiner Palefa loops one towards the middle of the diamond, and Carlos Correa on the move catches it for the first out. He loves staying in that rhythm, and he just felt like he wasn't ready last start or wasn't right last start. How about a seven pitch first inning? Jake Odorizzi strikes out Adolis Garcia on three pitches in a one, two, three first. Relief appearances against the Astros this year. Starting here with Jose Altuve leading off with a fastball down low for a ball, 1 0. Altuve sends one high in the air into shallow center field. Playable for Garcia, who puts it away for the first out. Good he's been. One, two pitches popped in the air. Banya's the second baseman, makes the call. And he puts it away. So a strong start for Colby Allard, a one, two, three inning as well. We head to the second. Swing and a miss. Quick order of Jonah Heim. There's that high fastball Blummer was talking about. Second strikeout for Jake, two away in the inning. Good job by Dahls. He continued to battle Odorizzi before drawing a walk. He is the first base runner of the game for either side. 3 2 pitch popped up. Altuve and Correa converge. Who wants it? It will be Carlos who takes it. As the two will always have a good time with pop ups in between each other. Odorizzi battles through the second. A walk, one man left on base. Jordan leading off, trailing in the count 0 and 2. And how about Colby Aller? Quick work of Jordan Alvarez. Now to chase the high fastball for his first strikeout of the night. Mm. Allard dots him up on the inside corner. Back to back strikeouts to start the inning. He's Astros coming in at 58 and 39 on the year. And Tucker on a 2 0 pitch. Grounds one. Still in play. Unable to scoop it. Nathaniel Lowe. That was a pretty good play by Isaiah, Isaiah Connor Falefa. But his throw bounced into first and Tucker reaches. Tucker shoots one to right field. Gallo will try and play it on a hop. He barehands it. Tucker will still go first to third. Miles Straw with a base hit to right. Castro goes down on strike, so Allard picks up three strikeouts in the inning. Astro strand two. We head to the third inning scoreless. He's in a position to play for a World Series. He said these opportunities are very rare. When you have a real chance like this, Everyone feels responsible, including himself, to make sure that this team really does have the best chance to hoist that trophy. Yet they're at sub 500. Ground ball up the middle, off the mound. Correa will glove it and make the play to get Nathaniel Lowe for the final out of the inning. So one hit, one man left on base. We're through two and a half, scoreless. Garcia hits it hard, past the diving. Andy Abanez in the right field. Robel Garcia, leadoff base runner for the Astros here in the third. 867 right now. There's a line drive off the glove of Kiner Falefa. Garcia stopped and he will be out at second base. Robel Garcia did not see that ball initially come out of the glove of Kiner Falefa and he was able to rebound and get Robel Garcia for the four set. Here's Michael Brantley. Brantley shoots one to left field. That is falling fast and a diving attempt. Dahl can't come up with it. Michael Brantley with a base hit, and the Astros will have runners on first and second. 3 0 low. Bases will be loaded for the big man, Jordan Alvarez. Line drive, base hit, right field. One run will score. Brantley being held up with Gallo's arm. RBI single for Jordan. It's one to nothing. Broken bat slowly hit towards third. The play to second for one. Correa will beat the return throw. That gives him an RBI. And the Astros lead two to nothing as Brantley crosses the plate. Here. Tucker drives one deep to right field. Joey Gallo all the way back. That ball's gone. Kyle Tucker. A three run home run into the Astros bullpen. It's now a five to nothing game. Allard had been trying to rush that fastball up and into left handed hitters and tie him up. And Kyle Tucker fouled a couple off. He gets that fastball in, but it's down in that happy spot. 
He barrels it up and goes into launch mode. Big swing, two out lightning. There you see it, they want it in, they get it in, but it's down. And all Kyle has to do is step on it and drop that barrel on it. Allard's reaction told the story too. He knew it right away as Tucker battled for nine pitches. That is the difference between a 2 nothing game and a 5 nothing game. This one towards the crowd in right. Gallo giving it a look. He'll have room to put it away for the final out of the inning. But a great at bat by Kyle Tucker adds three to the Astros lead. Yeah, they Swing and a miss. And counting. Strikeout number three for Oda Rizzi, two away in the inning. Great deadline and the first home game for Toronto. Swing and a miss. Jake strolls off the mound with a 1 2 3 inning, striking out Hine for the second time. Oda Rizzi with four strikeouts through four. That's not really a mascot. That's not a no. mascot. That's a character. Jason Castro has struck out twice tonight as Colby Allard picks up his fourth strikeout first out here in the fourth. Garcia in the left field. That's going to bounce in front of David Dahl. Robel Garcia, a two for two night. He's a one out base runner for the Astros in the fourth inning. That ball's hit well to left field. Dahl on the move. It's past him and off the wall. To third goes Garcia. He'll be held there. Altuve into second with a double. And the Astros have runners on second and third. Little half swing. Garcia's on his way home. The throw is high. Garcia's safe. Astros lead six to nothing on a half swing by Michael Brantley. Uli hits a high fly ball. Plenty deep enough to score Altuve. Dahl and Garcia converge as David Dahl who makes the catch. A sack fly for the major league leader in sack flies. Curiel picks up his 11 sacrifice fly. It is seven nothing Astros. Gets Alvarez for the second time. Picks up two strikeouts in the inning five in the game but the Astros add two more. Michael Brantley and Yuli Gurriel with RBIs at seven nothing. James Click will be a guest in the booth as well. Swing and a miss. Dahl goes down on strikes. Oda Rizzi, three consecutive strikeouts going back to the fourth inning. Five in the game. Two. One and two to Curtis Terry making his big league debut. And Oda Rizzi rolling along with four consecutive strikeouts. Six in the game. Ground ball. That is a fair ball down the line. Pass to diving Yuli Gurriel. Tucker will play it. Bear hands it. And his throw not in time. Brock Holt has the first extra base hit of the game for the Rangers. And a walk. Second walk allowed by Oda Rizzi. Ground ball right side. Altuve can't make the play under his glove in the right field. Scoring will be Holt heading to third and safe there. Is Andy Abanez. Rangers get on the board with a base hit that just scooted past Altuve into right. It's now 7 1. For the hit by Connor Falefa, just past Jose Altuve. This ball drilled deep to center field. That ball will be a one hopper and stay in play. That'll score two runs. Nathaniel Lowe heading to third. He'll have a triple. Now a 7 3 game. As the Rangers doing all this damage with two outs and nobody on. Just eluded Jose Altuve. As Rebel Garcia makes this play, picked by Yuli Gurriel for the final out of the inning. Three run inning for the Rangers, and Garcia grounds out to end it. And he does, and he strikes out on a 97 mile an hour fastball. Santana comes in and picks up a strikeout in the first batter he faces. I hear TK say. <laughs> Down low, good job by Straw drawing a walk. He'll be a two out base runner. He's been stealing at a better clip lately as Castro goes down swinging. Santana picks up a couple of strikeouts in the inning. Astros leave one. We are through five. Seven win ended up with 37 home runs and 107 RBIs as Belak gets Dahl swinging for the final out of the inning. Impressive work so far for Brandon Belak.
four up four down we're through five and a half innings with the Astros leading seven to three. Try to hold up and he does on a pitch up so Robel Garcia on for the third consecutive time. Fly ball center field. Garcia started back now he has a long way to come in and he'll have time to get there for the final out of the inning. So a lead off walk one man left on base we head to the seventh Astros lead this game seven to three. Tapper down the third baseline that somehow is going to stay fair and Abanias is going to continue his hitting streak now a four gamer. Ball looked like it was heading foul and kind of reverse course down the line. 3 2 pitch set into center field. Miles Straw backs up a few steps and he'll put it away. Brandon Belak, two and a third shutout innings. Nice job out of the bullpen for the Astros. Seventh inning stretch time at Minute Maid Park. It's the Astros seven and the Rangers three. Hit to left field pretty well. Back goes Dahl. He'll make a running catch on the warning track. Tucker bidding for extra bases the other way, but lines out for the final out of the inning. We're through seven at Minute Maid Park. Houston seven, Texas three. Runs his last time up. And a foul tip caught by Castro. That'll be a strikeout for Taylor to start this inning. Swing and a miss. Chased upstairs. Garcia goes down on strikes. Back to back strikeouts for Blake Taylor. Two outs in the eighth. And does a great job putting up wins, too. And Dusty doesn't have to remind his team. As Joey Gallo draws a walk here on five pitches. A little flare in a shallow center coming on straw. He won't get there. Heading first to third will be Gallo. A little bloop single into center by Jonah Heim. Puts runners on first and third with two outs. Explaining to the Astros that they don't want to give the Texas Rangers any hope. And there's no hope as this ball is going to be caught. Carlos Correa catches the pop up off the bat of David Dahl to end the threat. Two men left on base. We head to the bottom half of the eighth at 7 3 Houston. Not really a righty as he strikes out straw on the fastball. So the Texas bullpen continues to do well. That's now two and two thirds innings of hitless baseball. Who might pitch on Sunday against Zach Greinke as Castro loses the bat. Foul tip. Caught by the cash. The catcher Jonah Heim Castro retired team on July the 4th. That ball into right field and that's going to be a base hit. Garcia is going to have to beat the throw by Gallo and he does. I'm not sure if he ever saw that ball off his bat. Unbelievable. Thought it was a foul ball. Altuve first pitch swinging pops one up. Second baseman Andy Abanez calls off low and that'll do it for the Astros in the eighth. We head to the ninth inning. Astros leading seven to three Christian Javier will be called on to get the final few outs trying to close the door. Wow. Javier looking strong getting Curtis Terry on three pitches picking up a strikeout for the first out of the ninth. For these Astros today. They got him. Ball game over Astros win it seven to three. They have proven 20 games over 500. 7 0 on the season against the Rangers here at home. And the Rangers have now lost 10 consecutive games going back to before the All Star break. Blummer, that's a nice way to start the Lone Star series. Really is a good way to start that Lone Star series. And also, you're playing a team that is just down, having a rough road trip. Continue to just push them down and get your numbers, go out there and play well. The bullpen stepped up today, did a great job of holding down that, that Texas Ranger. Offense, and then you've got the timely hitting on offense. How about Kyle Tucker doing a great job continuing to swing a great bat with that big three run home run in the middle of this game? Yeah, that was the biggest at bat of the game a three run shot with a nine pitch at bat as he spoils some two strike pitches before that three run home run. We're ready for the post game show as the Astros win it seven to three. Back with more after this.